What's up, white people? Um, I got a new laptop, and I'm trying that camera tonight. And I don't even know if the microphone's on. Somebody comment to tell me if you can hear me or not. You fuck is comment. I got the new laptop, Johnny Duke. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Somebody tell me you can hear me. What's in the box? I don't know. Bad logs. Who likes the new cam? Let's see. You are loud and clear. Yay! It's my birthday. Um, I missed you guys Tuesday night. Duke, so with <laughs> with the new laptop and the new high tech camera and the lighting and the microphone, how's the clock sound, Duke? How's the clock sound? You love it, you mother trucker, you trudder mucker. I got to um, I got to work on not squinting, and uh, although I do like it, the screen is uh. Nice. Look at how long my hair is. Holy shit. Look at me. I'm a, uh, I'm a fucking hippie, dude. Look at me. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think it, it's, um, everything's opposite as I look at it. It's fucking freaking me out, man. It's fucking freaking me out, man. So, as we wait for the toast... Sorry I missed you guys Tuesday night. Uh, I could tell you what I was doing, but I'd rather not. Nah, I'm kidding. I was um, helping my son with a project, and I just didn't get it done in enough time. And rather than rush and not finish the project with my son, um, I decided that the time with him doing that project, the precedence over uh, – Having to be here. I was going to do it late, but I just said, you know what? I'm a superstar, damn it, and it's my rules. You know what I mean? No, but really, I just said, fuck it. Um, so people don't get to see me eat on Facebook uh, for a day. Toast tongs. Toast tongs. What I was really going to say is, I wasn't here Tuesday because Joe Biden touched me. But. Apparently, I can't talk about that. Joe Biden. <laughs> we were out. We were out rubbing the hair on his legs. That fucking freak. Bad shape, fuckers. I um. I got a text message from a friend today who was making a sandwich with creamy peanut butter. Disgusting. Disgusting. Nobody should be eating creamy peanut butter. Um, pretty good feedback on Saturday night show. We were on Saturday night for an hour and forty five minutes. I drank six beers and two shots, and uh, that's the most alcohol I've drank in a while. Um. We did uh, 
shots with each other. We drank with each other. Um, so we're going to do the same thing this Saturday. If that's cool with everybody, no sandwich, just cocktails together at 810 if everybody's cool with that. Maybe I'll put a little, uh, a little, uh, what do they call those fucking thing in there? Uh, survey questionnaire. What the fuck is it called? Um, I might have lost the comments again. Uh, I think I did. I think I did. Oh, so fucking fat. I'm gonna look at this. Yo, man, you got, oh, there it is. I don't hear the clock. Oh, there's the fucking comments. So much clearer. I can hear you. Roger that. So there's all the comments I thought I wasn't getting. Ain't that son of a bitch. Mr. Mall, she says, I think Jif and Fluff need to send you some money for endorsing them. Yes, and in about six months, it's going to be motherfucking Jenny Craig. All right, what's going on here? Everybody settle down. All right, yeah, new comments. That's what we're looking for, ma'am. You sound like someone we know with the Joe Biden touch me thing. <laughs> you need Peter Pan peanut butter. It's the best. He dresses up like Peter Pan sometimes. You would know, hottie. You wouldn't know. Jack Hazel's under the weather tonight so uh hazel's in the bedroom maxing and relaxing and i'm going in for open a jar open a jar open a jar open a jar so everybody cool with uh cocktail hour on saturday nights instead of fluffer nutters let me get two thumbs up in there somewhere in them comments let's go two thumbs up right now Burp. watching she's gonna yell at me for burping Dia says she can see me loud and clear, or see me loud, or hear me loud and clear. She can see better. I'm sorry, you guys have to see this in um, clearer mode. How fucking gross, ugly am I, huh? Huh? I uh, I haven't had a haircut. I'm gaining weight. I feel miserable because of the weight I'm gaining. But yeah, sure. Why is Johnny single? He's a fucking tub of shit. The guy's a fucking tub of shit. Tub of shit. Oh, damn. That sandwich, bro. His comments aren't automatic. Homies. Anybody know how to help me fix that? There's my two thumbs up. I got three thumbs up. Don said Skippy is the best. I like both. I prefer Jif. Jesus, the peanut butter world is fucking cutthroat, man. Are you kidding me, man? I wonder how I keep the comments without me having to scroll. You guys should probably figure that out for me, you tech-savvy sons of bitches. You know what I mean? Okay. What are we going to cheers to tonight? Yeah, dude, that's fun. I don't know why. Oh my god, I keep hate I hate to keep getting up and putting my face in front of this thing, dudes. I really do apologize. I'm having one with you. My son made it for me. Oh. See, now that's a good boy. There. How do I make these fucking comments? Hi everybody. Holy shit. Did you guys see that? Turned. Look at there's my second chin growing. It's the lotion on the skin or it gets the hose again. Oh, so gross I am. I am so gross. Okay. Anyway. Here is to so everybody staying happy and healthy. To all the women who were able to dodge Joe Biden, and to the ones who weren't, we apologize. And uh, this is not a political show. I'm not trying to do that. But he's 
a little fucking weird snipping people over. So cheers to all you guys being happy and healthy and being here watching my demo. Some of my tech savvy friends have to help me here. I want to keep the comments rolling. Yes, they should, but they don't. <laughs> Lisa Beetle says, hey, Fluffer. And she's not eating fluff. She's having vodka instead. That means Lisa wins. Aw, everybody's eating fluffer nutters with me. Pretty fantastic. You guys are the best things. You know that? <sighs> you see how bad it is? I got up, bent over, I didn't use the computer, and I'm out of fucking breath. You are all a bunch of enablers. I get it. Oh my god, this is too much work. I think I might have just had it. Salut. Tell me how you see her. Dia's having a fluff another and vodka. That's like double win, bro. I know. Look at me though. I have beautiful eyes. I have beautiful eyes. I do. Look at me. Mm, look into my eyes. What do you see? Um, we'll just fuck with it as we go, dudes. All right, I don't know what to tell you. Get this thing out of the way. Bring the pooter, sir. Oh my god! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Wow, that's super close right there, dudes. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but we're so close right now that some of us are dating. That's how close. Um, I should come to California for a web show. I'd love to come here. Well, I'll come to California, but it can't be the part where they're shitting in the streets. I, I don't want to go to that one. I um, but I would love to go to California. I'd love to hang out. Um, see friends like yourself. Lori Ortez is out there, and. Uh, Here's the cool thing. As I learn about all of this stuff and I try to. Um, I want to do my podcast with my. I want to continue to do this show. I want to continue to do a bunch of things. I'm in it to win it, dudes. Um, I, I like it. I enjoy it. And. Um, I like fucking around. I like being funny. I like being silly. I like conversating with all of you. So I want to continue to do this. I want to continue to do my podcast with my partners. I want to do live shows at people's houses. I want to come to your house as you make me. We're going to do pop-up shows. Um, Duke, Paulie, and Tottenham, and even Shay will tell you. We're going to go golfing. We're going to do, we're going to do surprise lives. We're going to leave the house again. And uh, I see Tommy Perry just logged in. You guys want to see a sick beard? Perry's page. New comments. Yes, yes. I want to see those. That's what we want. San Diego. San Diego is a fun place to live. And if San Diego is half as beautiful as they say it is, look at this, guys. Flip the metal. I got a lot of walking to do. I'm going to lose all this weight eventually, but that doesn't make for the fun. My arteries clogging and me eating fattening fucking sandwiches is what's pretty good for the table. So like I said, remember, when I eventually, my heart eventually explodes from all of this, and you all have to come to my wake. As I'm laying in the casket, my family is bawling. Well, some of them. You're all to walk up to the casket, look me in the face, and go, boop. That's the deal. Boop. So yes. This, the podcast, I want to continue to do this. Um, I made this public tonight. 
apparently I was doing it wrong and not getting enough views because I only had it so my friends could like it. So feel free to share it. Feel free to ask questions. Feel free to send topics. Feel free to do whatever, man. We're working this together. We can't see each other. It's a way to hang out with each other. And it's a way to for me to finally just do what I want to do. Um, I wanted to be sort of a character my whole life, and now I'm just going to be one guy. Oh, my God. I want that voice of the Boston voice. I can't do it, bro. bro. My eyes. I do have beautiful eyes. If you really look at these eyes. Dude, look at my eyes. Mm, what do you see? Tell me your deepest, darkest fantasy, Duke. Um, but anywho, that's the plan, dudes. Um, now that I got the laptop, I just got it. I'm eating with food in my mouth, so fucking deal with it. Um, got the laptop. We're going to start doing a Zoom with my podcast partners. Podcast partners, if you're in here, text me later this week. Well, it's fucking Thursday, so this weekend, I swear a lot, I'll stop, swear to God, motherfucker. And it's going to get, you know, it's going to be so great. It's going to be so great. And, uh, Tommy says, did you hit 250 pounds yet? I like your enthusiasm. But, uh, no, I started the year at, I started this 2020 at uh, 222 pounds. Or at 202 pounds, and I am now up to 228 pounds. So I put on 26 pounds this year. Uh, tomorrow will be May 1st. And uh, I'm starting to waddle again. I'm having to walk through some doors sideways. Um, I'm stealing food out of kids' hands when I see it. I ate a whole rotisserie chicken in line at the grocery store the other day waiting to cash out. Um, I made love to uh, a box of Pringles. I mean, it's bad. The whole thing's bad. I bought a uh, – Entenmann's makes this banana bread with banana frosting chocolate banana and chocolate frosting on top so i bought it i housed it i housed it in a day um i ate it in quarters i'm like i'm gonna have a quarter now i had a quarter to, 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 uh, like two hours later and then the next day I ate two more quarters so if you're wondering how off the rails i really am i'm fucking off the rails katie liddy berry in the house eddie herskowitz Nice party, Steve. Eddie knows. Fucking Eddie knows. Sorry, but these fluffing nut is ripped right through me. Absolutely right through me. Um, so for those of you who are still joining, sorry about Tuesday night. Uh, I couldn't make it. I feel bad. But as I was explaining to the people, uh, I was in a pro doing a project with my son, and it didn't end in time, and we were working on something and doing a bunch of shit. And if you know, if you have an older child, my son's 20, when you have the time to spend with them, do it because oh, you've got gas money. So now that we're in this quarantine, uh, you know, got a chance to spend some time with them. We got some food. We worked on a project. For him, his uncle built him a desk. It's, it's a whole thing. And uh, it's all, it was all good times. Um, I bad mouth to creamy peanut butter people in the beginning of this. People still eating creamy peanut butter. Like I said, I got a text message today. Your animals. I am going to be like man versus food, but I think food is going to win. Um, no joke. I mean, we all grew up in the valley, so we know that, you know, there's a little bit of addiction that goes on. I'm not a gambler. I'm not a drinker. I'm not a smoker. I'm not a drugger. Fucking food, though. Food gets its claws into me. Forget it, dude. For, I'm like a I'm like a forty year old version with a forty year old virgin with a two dollar hooker. Once the claws are in, forget it. I'm not letting go. I'm gonna get all my money, and that's it. It's all bad. It is all. Bad. Look at how long my hair is. You know what I should do? Charge my shaver. And shave my head live on Facebook. 
like the number two. You guys think that would be too short? Or should it just fall? Nicole C's back in the house. Nicole C, I had a dream about you. I'm glad you're here. I was going to talk about it Tuesday night. Um, not one of those dreams. Settle down, everybody. I had it, Nicole C, you'll remember this. Uh, you were wearing your Eagles shirt. And I need you to settle an argument for me. Did you wear a Cunningham shirt or a Reggie White shirt? I can never remember which Eagles jersey you wore. I know you wore somebody's jersey. Can never remember. You might have had both. I just don't remember that long ago. And uh, my boy Matt Conway is an Eagles fan as well. So, so at least two of you out there. Um, so back to Tommy Santeria's question. Can I hit? When I was in my fattest, I weighed two hundred and fifty-four pounds. Two hundred and fifty-four pounds. I was a weeble wobble. I, everywhere I went, I waddle. I have videos of me. Waddle. This kid Matt that works for us, he's got a picture of me, and I'm as large as a car door. My my back to belly on the size of a car door. It was, I was so fat. I, I knew she had both. I knew she had both. Um, I, I had that dream of you wearing that jersey, and you had that long, you know, like that thick hair. I, I was, it's so, it was a, such a vivid dream. It was crazy, it was so crazy. Uh, of course, I remember Nicole. You were like, uh, I don't want to talk out of school, but you might have been my first girlfriend back over there in the Chatfield days. I don't remember, but I don't want to divulge any of our secrets. Um. I don't want to piss off any other women. Dude, two, imagine me. 254 pounds. Okay. If a Mazda Miata hit me, it would have been total and I would have been fine. That's how fat I was. Look, I'm even starting to get oh my goodness. Try not to look at my tatas as we talk. I put on so much weight. And it's and I got this better camera. All I want to do is fucking real life unbelievable um right and i'm over here wondering if uh i'm over here wondering if girls want to go on a date with me after this not after they see what my deaf camera doing that boy ugly man that boy got a face his mama couldn't even love Shit. yeah you were right nicole i i i thought you were my first girl Every story I ever told, like you play one of those stupid drinking games, or you're, you're you know, you know how women you, you're talking with girls and they like to tell me about yourself. Who is your first girlfriend? I always answered Nicole Singh all the time. Because that's, that's, I mean, I used to answer it John Duke or Jeff Cottenham, but they've asked me to cut it up. Do I remember what it was? First of all, I'm a white snake is this love. Bam! Killing it! Fucking killing it! I don't even remember what the fuck I had for breakfast, Nicole, but I remember that song. White snake was shit back in the day. Matt says Johnny D, Johnny Double D. What's up? What's up? Dude, Matt, are you making fun of? Are you making fun of my sweater cows, bro? You can't make fun of a dude's sweater cows while he's trying to hit on women on Facebook Live while eating a motherfucking fluff another. Shit. Man. Um, Nicole, you haven't answered yet. I don't see the comment yet. Hopefully, I got the song right. Otherwise, you're gonna shoot him at me um, in the most future out in public. Johnny Double D, Matt, funny as hell, but now I gotta I'm gonna protect my my breast assist, bro. I got milk in there. How about me, Fokker? I got nipples. Can you milk me? Um, but yeah, you guys should have seen me in my fattest. Most of you guys did. I don't even care. Um, I I don't even care if uh, I did. I got it right. I 
got it right. Yeah. She says, now do you remember her phone number? Yo, why you got a fucking, well, you, you got a uh, old number. I don't. I mean, I want to say, I don't know what to say. I don't remember her number. I don't. I really don't remember. I remember my phone number. I remember Pauly Carvalho's phone number. And I remember a Seymour Police non-emergency number because either they were calling, my brothers were calling for me there, or I was calling for them, or my dad was telling people to call for us down there. And I don't remember too many other numbers. No, I, I don't. But thanks for taking away my great achievement here by remembering that and then blowing up my spot and making me look like I have to help with. I do pretty well on that. Well, I walked in late. Better late than never, Aaron. We were just talking about my breast size and uh, whether or not I should get a reduction. Um, people are worried about back problems for me in the future. But, uh, you know, I guess it's something I'll talk to my, my doctor. Uh, two, one, two, six. That was my number. Dia, Dia, that's a super nice compliment you just gave right there. You better watch out, sister. When I start getting out there, I want to go to dinner with the lady. I want to go to dinner with all the ladies just because I like spending all my time with women. I'm not sexually perverts, but I just like all of you. You're all very cool chicks. And why shouldn't we spend time together? Go out and laugh and make fun of people and uh, just do our thing. Dia, with compliments like that, you might find yourself at dinner with this guy. You better watch out. I don't remember your phone number either. If it helps. It does help, Nicole. We'll always have White Snake. That's all that matters. I remember. Uh, look, at, I remember one time just to get Nicole's attention, White Snake was on. And I jumped on the hood of a car and danced around like Tawny Dupain. I think that's really what reeled her in. She saw my dance moves on the on the hood of the car. So uh, I hope she remembers that. Um, uh, that that photo taken of us, Matt. I have a picture, dude. You want it? You guys want to see that picture? Would it be okay if I showed that picture to people? Let me see if I have that picture. Is this love that I'm feeling? Is this the love because it's really got a hold on me? Should have known better than to let you go alone. Times like these, I can't make it on my own. Wasted days and sleepless nights. But I can't wait to see you again. So I can hold you in my arms. Is this love? I'm feeling is th this isn't a good picture of me though, dude. That's not a good picture. Right. Oh, hold on. This isn't helping. It's not helping. I don't know, dudes. I haven't figured out technology yet, so um Matt's a handsome kid. Any of you single ladies looking for a guy? Matt's a handsome dude. Yes. She says, exactly, I'm counting on it. Me and Dia having dinner. Uh, in your defense, us girls always called you and Rob, not the other way around. That is true. That is true. Um, part of storytelling is uh, on the podcast when we do the storytelling thing. Uh, somebody let me know if I'm leaning in too close and you guys can see, see me too close. And, um if you're not being able to hold down your food because I'm so goddamn close to the camera. Um, hold on. Just a minute there, guy. Fluff, it's so good you want him inside you. Um, part of the storytelling is a story about, do you guys remember... All right, John Duke's still here? 
We're not drinking tonight, Randy. Um, we're going to drink on Saturday night. So we're going to turn Saturday night into what the fluff cocktail hour. It's going to be fun. Oh, I can't wait to see you again either. I don't know when. I'll, I mean, I think I know when the last time I saw you was, but it was a sad time in our life. We had lost a friend. So I don't like to remember that as the time I see you. So I'd like to see you again. Um, John Duke. What's the name of that place we all used to go to catechism to? Um, uh, over by where, where you grew up. Remember there was the St. Augustine Church and then there was that building across the street. It was a catechism place. Um, we used to have to go there. And uh, Duke, Duke will remember the name of the building. And, and it was called catechism, right? Duke across from... Uh, is, am I even saying the name of the church right? Is that St. Augustine over there by where you grew up? Uh, and anyway, I won't say the girls' names, but Robert liked the girl and I liked the girl. So we switched classes. And we got in trouble and we got kicked out of catechism. Not because we switched classes and lied. And lying is the lying is in. We got kicked out because Robert yelled, Jesus Christ, this is fucking stupid. Bam, out the door. Out the door. It is hope in a jar. You got that right. Yo, seriously, Nicole, you got that right. On Washington Ave. Yes. The rectory. Jennifer Lynn Sam Perry knew it too. Rectory. Yeah. Um, I was just about to make a church uh, sexual assault joke. Let the record show that today, April 30th at 42, I decided to refrain. Um, I was going to turn rectory into rectory, but I didn't. Um, yes, Nicole, let's not wait for another damn funeral to see each other because we're getting old now. I'm going to be, I just, I'm going to be, I just turned 43. Um, I just turned 43. John Goop just turned 55. Uh, Jeffrey Tottenham's going to be 50. Uh, I think David Sienna's watching this. I think he's going to be 50. So uh, it's all bad. Um, Tuesday night, I was going to have a couple of shout outs. I just remembered. Happy birthday, Mikey Swanchak, and happy birthday, Clayton Sweet. Um, two great guys had a birthday that day. One of them, one of them is a cop, and the other one's Clayton Sweet. Um, Clayton won't get mad at me. I thought that that was a funny joke. Um, but uh, so happy birthday to those guys. I haven't seen Mikey in so long. I haven't seen Clayton in so long. So when we can all leave the house again and go do stuff, um, I'd love to come to Port St. Lucie and uh, have a beer with you. But uh, Clayton, get out there and. Uh, Grab a Miller High Life. You're paying. Sound good? Um, so much I want to talk about, but it's like I'm trying to save it for the podcast. I'm trying to save it for other things. Save it for what? Um, I really hope you guys follow me and my and my teammates over to the podcast. It's gonna be it's gonna be funny. Uh, not that this isn't. I think that this is pretty funny. I think it's a cool way to get together and talk. And, and, out. and uh, yes, Diana, I am. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. And uh, so I just love hanging out with you guys and talking. And like I told you, I'm an egotist, self-indulged motherfucker who likes to hear himself talk and reconnect with people I haven't talked to in a while and the people that I have talked to in a while. If you haven't enjoyed and loved the banter between John Duke, John Che, and, and, and Brian Check and a couple other people during this. While you're watching it, you're out of your mind because those dudes are killing it. Um, speaking of which, I don't know if Brian Chuck's here, but uh, like Brian Chuck didn't make it tonight. He's probably sucking a bag of dicks somewhere. Eating a bag of dicks. I'm sorry. Eating. Eating a bag of dicks. Hi, Anna. How are you feeling? I think about you all the time. And I also hope that you're well. Mm-hmm. Wink, wink. See what I did there? Um, just saw Clayton recently. He's good. I ride with them a lot in the spring and summer. That's fantastic. Thank you for that update. Uh, Clayton Sweet's one of my oldest uh, friends. 
I don't get to see him too much anymore because life takes over and one day it's Monday and the next day we turn around and it's fucking Monday again. Um, let's talk about the food bank and let's talk about the donations for families. We, ladies and gentlemen, have now reached 500, close to $500 for the food bank and close to another, and no, we did do another additional $500 families who needed groceries so this little back and forth that we do three times a week so i can be a silly self-indulged uh um uh, you know think highly of myself love to hear myself talk guy we raised a thousand about a thousand dollars for the nagatuck food bank for families in need of groceries so um pat yourselves on the back and like i keep telling you guys all the time when this is all over and we can go back outside I will be kissing on the lips. Smack dab right on the lips first time I see it. So if you've got a jealous husband or a jealous wife, start preparing them now. Not my problem. Um, you're all you're getting a kiss on the lips. Um, it is what it is. Um, hi, Colleen Catherine. How are you? She says, hi, babe. I love that girl. Happy to be alive and breathing, honey. A lot of COVID aftermath issues, but handling it. I want to donate. I want to donate to you, Anna. I want to donate a big hug for you, for everything you had to go through with that COVID-19. We are all thankful that you're good. Um, thank God that you are. Um, and hopefully all these extra side things that you're dealing with go away very soon because I can think I can speak for everyone else. The world is a much better place with you in it, and we need you here for a long time. Um, so, you know, stay healthy. And uh, more importantly, you need to say nice things about me. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So let's, ret- let's retouch. We're on a 40 minutes here. We're not going to go long tonight. I feel like Saturday night. Who's going to have cocktails with me Saturday night? Who's going to do it? Um, we're going to turn what the fluff. Live with Johnny, live with Johnny cocktail hour. We're going to tell some funny stories. We're going to bullshit back and forth like we have been. We're going to drink together. If you tuned in last week, Holly Carvalho FaceTimed me. And, oh, wait a minute. Are you kidding? Are you kidding right now? Oh, my. Are, are you kidding? Diana, thank you so very much. You have a kind heart. Another solid donation, kids. And this is her second, I believe. And um, it is. It's her second. Diana, thank you so much. In a time where people are struggling and, you know, they're just looking out for everybody else. Um, that, that is fantastic. Oh, wait, is this, what is this now? Tia. Uh-huh. Tia is, oh, her generous heart's working today, too. You guys are unbelievable. Listen to me. <coughs> Tell me. No, I'm not fucking around. You're, getting, you're all getting kissed on the lips, not just the ladies. I told you guys. Um, yeah. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for my goofy ass to sit here and just want to be funny and silly and hit on women and break my friend's balls. Um, and then just the first time I was on here, I talked about the bartenders and how we need to make sure that we take care of them because they're not working. And then you know, donations start to flood in. And here we are. This officially, this right here, these two donations I just took right now, we are officially over the $1,000. are officially over the $1,000 mark. Um, we got there with the help of all of you. Um, Jeannie and Sabelle, the owners of Tools Plus, made two unbelievably generous donations. Um, one to the food bank and the other is going to help a family get groceries. Um, it's awesome. It's, it's fucking awesome, man. You guys are unbelievable. Um, Anna, my Venmo my Venmo, 
is is um, at all lowercase at j d i d a t j d a t and you'll know it's me because it's a picture of me with Donald Trump. All right, and again, this isn't a political show. I don't care who you liked or voted for. I don't care that you care who I voted for and liked for. All I care is is that you respect me. I respect you. We could think differently. We could dress differently. And we could talk differently. But when we're to get when we're in each other's presence, we're going to treat each other like adults and respectful. Like otherwise, one of us is going to hit the floor. They may. This way, kids. You understand? Well, listen. We've uh. Okay, awesome. Colleen Catherine just commented and meant to say, I miss bartending. But what she typed, ladies and gentlemen, was, I miss bear ending. You miss bear ending? Well, man, you're, you're home, uh, you're quarantined, time to get back to the bear ending. Uh, <laughs> you never had, nobody said you had to stop bear ending. You're in the house, do you, girl. Do you do the bear ending, and then we'll get you back to the bar ending after the bear ending. It's fucking funny. She's gonna delete that comment. She does not delete that comment. That's a fucking funny comment. Amanda Matthews. Haven't heard that. Oh, Amanda Matthews, fellow Mets fan. Meet the Mets. Meet the Mets. Um, NASCAR is gonna start soon. I guess uh, baseball is gonna fall. Well, listen, kids. We're at forty. We're at forty-two minutes. I'm gonna go forty-five minutes, and then we're gonna kill it. Uh, Saturday night, we're going to have cocktails again, and uh, we're going to laugh again. Uh, you know, I'm going out of my mind. I go to work and I go home. I can't go anywhere else. We still have 20 more days of this. Um, tomorrow's May 1st. We've got 20 more days of going home and going to work. Uh, the weather's going to get nice. I may pick up a lawn chair and hang out in one of your yards and yell from you or yell at you or to you from about 10 feet away if I can find the time. Works a little crazy, so I'm not sure. Um, and I'm not sure how some people feel about that. Some people don't want anybody near them at all. It's no big deal, right? You just admitted to the world on Facebook Live that you're into bear, bear ending. A lot of people are into bear ending. Um, I myself am a huge uh, advocate of the bear ending. Um, I think, uh, you know, all stuff is good stuff, not just butt stuff. Um, I'm bending over right now, and I'm leaning to talk, guys, and I feel like I'm way too close, and you can all see my nose hairs, which whatever the fuck, I don't care. But I can feel my belly, and I have not been this fat in two years. I feel my belly literally stopping me from going any further from here. So what that means is probably a month away from having a dicky do. And that means if I'm getting fatter, my belly is going to stick out fatter than my dicky do. That's not good. Listen, every man should have a roof over his tool shed, but this is crazy. Goodness gracious me. Goodness gracious me. All right, kids, we're coming up on the 45-minute mark. I ate most of the sandwich. We fucked, we left, we gave, we raised more money. Thank you guys so much. Um, unbelievable. Um, Google searches for bear ending up 176%. <laughs> oh. Aline, we can talk about bear ending on Saturday night. And uh, we'll talk about bear ending on Saturday night. And I, I got word of some families. Um, there was two in, Nog two in Naugatuck, one in Beacon Falls, one in Monroe. And families of bartenders or waitresses or waiters. Um, and I forget if there was something else. People who aren't able to work and single mom situations mostly and, you know, weren't sure if they were going to get unemployment. 
didn't have any money saved because they're doing it all on their own. So I, I started it by getting a $50 gift certificate and getting it to the families and getting them some groceries. And then people like in that first, um, it was, uh, it was John Duke and Brian Chuck reached out and said something in the middle of one of my, my first lot or my second live and said, Hey, how do we help? Um, they, people like that started donating and, and there's so many names and I have them all written down. And um, one day I'm going to do a proper thank you. But we and that I go and I get big Y or stop and shop gift cards and I get them to the family because not to sound like a skeptical, skeptical fuck. I don't know all of these people. So I didn't want to just hand cash over to the family. I don't know what's going on. And sometimes, you know, maybe one of the people in the house isn't so responsible with money. So, um, I got gift cards and I knew that they were getting food to feed their kids and themselves. Just so like one thing they didn't have to worry about that, that week. Um, I did actually help one other woman. She had two children. She's all by herself and she had to take her kids somewhere to get to watch and it was a longer drive for her. And I helped her with gas money for a week, but not me. You got your guys. Um, it just, I'm just a conduit, man. And uh, that's it. And oh my, Diana, are you kidding me? I'm telling you, man, ladies and gentlemen, you guys keep donating like this. Diana just did it again, it's twice tonight. And um, you're all men and women, you're all getting a hug and a kiss. You're getting a kiss right on the face. All these, I told you, if you got a, if you got a jealous husband or wife, start fucking talking to him now. Um, crazy Johnny's kissing me on the lips when he sees me. You just got to fucking deal with it. It's all about us caring about each other. It's all about us taking care of another. Of, of other. I don't know how many live shows I did, but uh, we, to raise a thousand dollars now, just by doing this and being a silly mon a silly monkey, I've been a silly monkey. Uh, it's unbelievable. So Diana. Um, first thing I'm doing when I see you, I'm gonna kiss your face and give you a big hug. Um, thank you so much. Um, Dia, um, Jack and Tammy, I'm gonna join you in that bed of yours with the blue kink you were drinking. You guys are gonna get hugs and kisses, maybe not on your face. And uh, all of you, everyone who's donated, I got a list going. Um, it's not about the dollar amount. All about the fact that you ask, what are you doing it for? And then you do it. That's the most amazing part. You don't even think about it. Andy Mellon Titus was on here last week. I think it was his first time. And he heard me say, and he goes, what's it for? I told him. 30 seconds later, there's a Venmo donation from Andy. I mean, these are good people. You're all warm-hearted, wonderful people. So I think what's most important is we stop with the ass kissing and the, and the nice stuff. And we... We get the money and breaking each other's balls. But we are hitting 50 minutes. I'm out. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my evening before I got to be back at work tomorrow. Life is crazy. Um, as my husband won't care. Because, good, we don't need any fist fights over uh, nice donations and hugs and kisses. Dr. Jason Tracy just joined. And uh, he joined here at the end. Uh, because rear of the video and he wanted me to share with you uh dr jason said if you're home and you're taking your temperature rectally is the best way to do it. and he asked me to offer my services to help i will but you have to understand one thing my rectal thermometer looks an awful lot like my pointer finger don't get nervous just you know keep your mouth shut and get your temperature Um, yes, you can motorboat me, John Duke. Um, I think if we raise enough, we should make John Duke motorboat me in public. He says, you look slim. Jason Tracy. I love you, buddy. I'm gonna, Jason Tracy, you guys want to see me kiss him on the mouth? I'm going to kiss him on the mouth. All right, listen, we're at 50 minutes. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to do my little sign off here. We're tonight. Um, 
Can we talk about one cool thing, one funny thing real quick? When I stop this, tell me this isn't the funniest fucking thing in the world. When I stop this and when I'm not live anymore and it just posts to my page, for the next two hours, people start commenting and talking to me as I'm talking as if I'm still alive. I don't know why I find that so fucking comical, but it's hysterical because then I get text messages and other messages going, oh, sure, you're saying hi to John too. You're Nicole C. You're saying hi to Diana and Dr. Tracy and these guys, but you don't say hello to me. I'm like, yo, look at the fucking thing. I was live at 810. You're commenting at midnight. I'm not still live. Who do you think I am, dude? This ain't Anna Gata DeVita. I can't stay on all night. This ain't free bird. Motherfucker. Come on now. Jason Tracy says he's in for a big hot kiss, ladies and gentlemen. So as soon as we can all leave the house, that's what you're going to see. And I'm kissing the rest of you too. Tonight, uh, with you, all of your donations and the love that I felt tonight, I think Nicole C would agree with me when I say White Snake said it best. This is love that we are feeling. I will see all of you tonight at 810 for cocktail hour. Please join if you can. Remember, I want text messages of drinks. I will write to my page if you're doing it. All of it. When you drink when I drink, we can FaceTime and drink together. All the good stuff. For now, it's Saturday night at 810. Stay healthy. Stay happy. I got a toaster in my living room. I got fluff in my belly. I got a loud ass clock that people won't stop talking about. I got a new laptop to let you guys see my gross ass even closer. But I do have beautiful eyes. But most importantly, I got nothing but love for all of you in my heart. And I love all of you and I miss all of you. And I can't wait to see all of you and put my arms around every last fuck. I love you guys. Stay healthy.